The Peterson Institute and Adam Posen, who's uh, frequently <coughs> on this program, interviewed Jay Powell yesterday. That moved the markets. What's your target for dollar at the end of the year? Well, to be honest, uh, it depends which currency you, you, you're talking about. But, you know, for, for euro dollar, we, we expect that we could see potentially a dip down to, to 105, and that would be maybe in a three to six month view. But um, I think it's, it's got to be stressed that where the dollar strength is going to be most obvious is, is not against the euro. It's probably not against other G10s. It's going to be against emerging markets. And I think there's one headline, uh, you know, this morning which <coughs> really does put that into perspective, and that is the UN headline that COVID-19 could push 34 million people into extreme poverty. Now, clearly, uh, an awful lot of those people are going to be in emerging markets. We're talking about debt restructuring already in some of the emerging market countries. Um, and from that point of view, you, 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 you know, from the point of view of, of, of investors, they're not going to be wanting to dip their toe back into many of these emerging markets. So I think a lot of the flow is going to stay uh, in G10, certainly within, within the dollar. Um, we might have perhaps some outperformance um, of the dollar by the Japanese yen, maybe the Swiss franc. But I do think that this is going to be a story of, of dollar strength, really, against a broad basket of currencies for some time. Um, Jane, what happens to dollar if we have negative rates in the U.S.? And what are the chances of that? Well, you know, it, it's, it's very interesting because yesterday uh, we did see Powell, of course, talk down the chances of, of negative interest rates. So I think we can assume that this isn't going to happen, you know, right now. It's not going to happen perhaps in the next year, the next two years. Will it happen in the next downturn or the one after that? I don't think anyone really would want to, to stick their neck out and, and, and say definitely not because we've seen so many changes in in monetary policy over the last 10, 12 years that we, none of us would have thought imaginable in so many different countries. So I think policymakers are never going to say no forever. But um, we do know that the money market uh, um, is so important in the U.S. And, and clearly, if negative interest rates and Fed funds, uh, that, that, that could have a significant impact on, on people's want to uh, invest in money market funds. And that could lead the Fed to some additional set of problems. So I don't think it's going to happen any time soon. Uh, I think we know that. Whether or not it would happen you know, in five, ten years' time, well, who knows. Um, but I think for now, the fact that we still have negative interest rates in the ECB, we've still got <coughs> negative interest rates in, in Japan, we've still got negative interest rates in, in some of the Scandi countries too. The fact that New Zealand could go negative, I think the fact that for now the Fed isn't, is probably just another factor that's going to be supportive of the, of the US dollar.